All right, what up guys? So today we are literally just gonna answer one single question and that is why every single pomade collaboration from the POM is always limited edition. And I'm answering this for like my benefit for Clayton, Benz, Edwin, and anyone else I collab with in the future because those questions are literally the most annoying ones like I get on this blog, period. I mean, I've gotten annoying things before and stuff like that. People thinking I'm their personal hairstylist or something like that, asking for personal recommendations. Like, no, but still, literally, people asking why Palmate Collaboration of Limited Edition are by far the most annoying questions. Because, I mean, from our ends, as like, as me, as like kind of like the marketing uh, person and also the person who helps develop this pomade, and also for the brewer, like, it's clear and plain and obvious why our pomade collaborations are like limited edition. And it's for two reasons. One's conceptual on my end and one's logistics on like the brewer's end. When we collaborate, I'm able to do this. Like they're willing to do this because we make it limited edition. They can take like a month or two out of their normal brewing schedule to help develop another product and then push it out. And that's like a small enough time investment to where they're willing to do it. It's easy for them to integrate into the already busy schedule. If they were to take on like this um, Palmade, uh, Palmade collab that we create and also integrate into their own product line, they would have to like add or keep in stock a whole nother set of ingredients, a whole nother set of jars and labels, and just basically a set aside cooking time for a whole nother product. You have to remember these aren't like factories pushing out these home brewed pomades. Like it's literally like one or two dudes in the kitchen or a husband and a wife in the kitchen pushing out pomade. It's not like a factory where they're like, oh, new product, new assembly line, let's shoot it out our asses. That's not how it works. So like with these pomade collaborations, they're only possible because they're limited edition. If we were to try to make them like a permanent product, that's just not logistically possible right now. Well, not right now at least. Now for the other side on my end, the reason why these limited like these pomade collaborations are limited edition is because they're just experiments for me. Like that first pomade collaboration, the pomade between me, Clay, and Edwin, the Palm O dudes and uh Palm's Not Dead. The reason for that collaboration was on my side, I just wanted to test out whether my connoisseurship, my experience with all these different pomades can help a brewer refine and make a pomade even better than what it was before. And I mean, shit, we proved it. I mean, I've proved it fucking three times now. I'm gonna prove it like a fucking million more times by the time this shit's over. And so that's what these collaborations are. They're just experiments from my end. Like I wanna basically set a standard of like what pomades should be. Like for example, um, Autodesk. Autodesk is a computer-aided design um, software company, CAD. And what they do is develop software for people to design stuff, like whether it be like your iPhone, a light bulb, a light fixture, a chair, stuff like that. It provides software. And so what they have is an R&D branch that actually develops physical, like crazy, abstract, un unbelievable, like never before manufactured things. Not for like the real world, not to apply, just to prove like what their software can make, what their software can make in collaborate, collaboration with hardware they also develop. So like a, the perfect, a beautiful integration of hardware and software. And so along the same lines, the pump is like a beautiful and perfect fusion between like a connoisseur and a brewer because a brewer knows how to make a pump and he knows what aspects of the ingredient changes what characteristics of a product. But then on my side, I know how like product characteristics play into like the actual styling of a product, what makes a, a pomade desirable, what makes it exceptional, and also how to market it. And so between us, or rather between myself and the brewer, the goal is to always make a perfect product. And it's an experiment and also to set a standard in the market to where this is how good pomade should be. Like the base pomade, ideally what it would have said to everyone was, this is how good a water-based pomade should be. Anyone else who's making subpar water-based pomades needs to step up their game. And that's literally the purpose of these collaborations. They're not to create a standard product. And the thing is like, I'm a reviewer. I'm not gonna go into retailing and selling pomades anytime soon or like 
not until like the consumer market like changes its mentality because right now the pomade market every single consumer thinks they're like king their, their product should be shipped in like one day even when they buy like super saver shipping and like when a label when a tracking number gets to you it takes one or two business days for it to actually update stop emailing the brewers and asking why is my, my tracking number not showing up you gave me a broken tracking number no they didn't just wait for it to update like it's not until this whole like market changes its mentality and i'm ever even can like consider something that game and so like i don't want to deal with that i'm going to stay where i'm at acting as the connoisseur working with like the newest most innovative most talented brewers to basically push out products in limited quantities just to say this is where the bar should be set at and everyone should be striving to that bar and above and so yeah i mean the reason why pomade collaborations are limited edition it's not possible on the side of the brewers not logistically possible and on my side it's like that's not my goal and it's not your right to have the product i mean us working on this beautiful pomade even though if you're addicted to it, like, look, it's still a privilege for you to have it and stuff like that. It's never like your right that we have to like sell it to you and stuff like that. I mean, we can just not collab anymore, but yeah, I mean, as these new pomades come out, this new like, clay stuff comes out, this new like, like lightweight hairdressing, like grooming stuff gets more refined and as cream pomades actually start getting an identity or solidifying that identity. You can know that I will be collaborating with those uh, new companies to develop and refine and make best like examples of these new like pomades. But yeah, no, I just want to answer those questions so that to, I just don't want those questions anymore. They're so fucking annoying. But yeah, other than that, take care, guys, and have a good weekend. Hey. 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 Hey.